So we're looking at Choose It Maker 3 and I'm going to show you some of the new updates that we can now access. One of them is that you can create your own folders. So if you've got a whole range of activities that fit into a particular category, you can create a folder for that now. The way that we would do that is we would log into our Choose It Maker 3 account and then you should be able to find the button that says New and that means you're creating a new folder. So we might create a new folder for cause effect activities and we can choose a color for that. So let's just go with a light purple and we can add an image. So as you can with all the other activities you create, you can access a picture from the media library, your own computer, the internet, or take a picture from the webcam. So we'll go into the media library and I just want to grab a picture of a switch. And once that comes up, I'm going to select that switch picture and choose OK. All right, so that's our folder created. You can see it there now. And they're arranged alphabetically. Another new feature that's been added is this search feature. So you can search by the title of an activity, uh, a descriptive or a keyword. So if I, were, if I had a lot of activities and I couldn't remember where I'd put it, um, although categorizing does help that a little bit, I could just type in dollar and it actually starts searching straight away. You don't even have to hit enter. And so then it's found my activity for me. So that's a great new feature. Another thing that's been added is a sharing feature. So if you've got other uh, friends or colleagues, um, people that you're working with that you want to send an activity to, if they've got a Choose It Maker account, you can do that now. So the way that you would do that is you would go into your activities, find an activity that you want to share. And so I've got an examples one here and I want to share that with one of my colleagues. Uh, so that they can use it in training as well. I would then click on the share button, which you may have noticed before, but it was grayed out. And now I get a share code that I can email to my colleague and then they would actually go down to this bottom right hand corner and pop that code that they've received from me into the redeem code. Um, you'd paste that in and then you would get the activity. So that's fantastic. And that is actually coming as a feature to Android and the iPad app uh, for Choose It Maker 3 as well soon. And the very last uh, addition or feature that's been added is a security feature. So whenever you're within your activities um, and managing things, as soon as you want to hit manage, it will actually now ask you for a password. And so if you are doing things for a, a lengthy period of time in terms of administrating and um, organizing things, you may want to click on remember the password for this session and then you won't have to keep entering it for the, the session that you're logged in for. Uh, but it is a nice feature if you do have little hands that might come in and play around with things so they can't go in and delete and reorganize things within your account. So as soon as you enter in your password, let's hope I've got it correct, and I click on OK. I can now, you can see that manage the folder um, for training examples is now there so I could rename it or delete it. Um, and same as if I went into the actual activity and started managing it as well. So they're the few new features that have been added to Choose It Maker 3. I hope you enjoy playing around with them.